this video uh, is a continuation of uh, my last video that is part 1 so in part 1 uh, the floor plan of a building are given and according to that floor plan we calculated the connected load and uh, we obtained the connected load is 12,945 watts not kilowatt okay 12,945 watts or 12.94 kilowatt okay so it's a watts actually it's watts not kilowatt and uh, so next we have to uh, find out the type of supply uh, required in our building so according to kerala supply code if the connected load is above 5000 watts the consumer gets only the three phase supply that means the connected load below 5000 we gets the single phase supply but the connected load is above 5000 the consumer gets only three phase supply so here uh, actually we have uh, the our connected load is 12945 watts not kilowatt it's watts 12945 watts that's why we gets uh, only the three phase supply so that is a type of supply in our building three phase and uh, the next step is uh, we have to find out the number of sub circuits and number of power circuit number of sub circuit and number of power circuits in our building and here Here uh, there are some criteria for selecting the number of uh, sub-circuits and power circuit. First we calculate a number of uh, sub-circuits. So the total number of sub-circuits means uh, the point, the electrical point except power plug and motor circuits which connects to the point. Okay, that is the sub-circuit. In power circuit only the power plug is connected. So in our plan, uh, actually in sub-circuit calculation, first we calculate the sub-circuit points. Okay. So actually in our case, in sub-circuits, we connect uh, main lamp, WB, and then ceiling fan, 6 ampere socket and exhaust fan. Okay. So the total number of uh, sub-circuit points are 26. That is the, 26 is the, uh, light point light point it, uh, it is the combined uh, com combining both uh, uh, main lamp and wb then uh, seven number of uh, seven number of uh, sorry seven number of uh, ceiling fan four number of exhaust fan and 18 number of uh, 60, 6 ampere socket 6 ampere socket so total uh, we get 55 number of sub circuit point that is 55 and uh, for calculating the number of sub circuit uh, there are uh, two criteria so the criteria are the first criteria according to NEC the maximum electrical point maximum electrical point installed in a sub circuit is limited to 10 that is the first point the maximum point installed in a single sub circuit is limited to 10 that means a any sub circuit uh, one sub circuit which consists of a maximum 10 number of points and the second point is the maximum wattage of each sub circuit is limited to 800 watts. So that is the criteria for selecting the number of uh, sub circuits. So the maximum number 10 in a, in a single sub circuit and maximum wattage of a single sub circuit is 800 watts. And in our plan, uh, actually we have 55 number of 55 uh, number of sub circuits point. Okay. And according to rule, uh, one sub circuit carries uh, maximum of 10 number okay so we need uh, at least six number of sub circuit 55 by 10 six number of sub circuit okay and another thing is uh, the second criteria uh, depends on the maximum wattage okay so actually our wattage the sub circuit wattage the total wattage of sub circuit is 2975 and we all, we have already six number of sub circuit so 2975 divided by 6 means it is below 800 watts because 800 watts is the maximum allowable wattage in one sub circuit so 2000, 2975 divided by uh, six number of sub circuit that is equal to below it uh, comes below the 800 watts so we select 
fixed number of subsurgent. We said right? fixed number of subsurgent. Next, we move to the uh, calculation of uh, number of power circuits. And actually, uh, in our case, uh, we have uh, only uh, 10 power plugs. So, number of power plug is 10. And wattage of power plug, uh, combined power plug, 10 into 1000, that is 10,000. Okay. And also, there are uh, some criteria uh, for selecting the uh, number of power circuits. So, the criteria are For power circuit calculation, the maximum allowable point in one power circuit is limited to 2. The maximum points in one power circuit is 2. And maximum wattage, allowable wattage in one power circuit is limited to 2000 watts. So, in our case, we have 10 number of, we have uh, 10 number of uh, power plug. So, in one power plug, the point is limited to 2. So, 10 by 2, 5. So, 5 number of power circuit is there. So, total number of circuit. Total number of circuit means uh, num total number of sub circuit plus total number of power circuit. So, 6 is the total number of sub circuit and 5 is the total number of uh, power circuit. So, 6 plus 5 it's 11. So, 11 be the total number of circuits available in our uh, building. And uh, next one uh, size of selecting the size of distribution board. Okay. So, the size of the distribution board is decided by total number of circuits installed in the building or output circuit. It is output circuit for total number of circuits. And the second point is uh, type of supply. Okay. Size of distribution board is decided by total number of circuits, type of supply and current rating. Okay. So, actually the type of supply in our building is three phase supply. So, we install the distribution board based on the three phase supply and the total output circuits from the DB. So, total circuits means we already calculated 11 number of circuits. Okay. And in 3, we, we are using 3 phase supply. So, for 3 phase supply, uh, we need 8 number of inputs. Okay. 8 number of inputs in, uh, in uh, from uh, 8 number of inputs and more than 11 number of outputs. Okay. 11 number of circuits, total number of circuits. So, we need uh, the tappings from the DB more than 11. Okay. And it is a three phase. So, the input to the DB must be eight number. Okay. So, eight means uh, four number. Four input is used for uh, isolator and four is used for uh, MCCB or main switch. So, total eight input. So, the, our distribution board is needs eight number of inputs and more than 11 number of outputs. Okay. So, from the data book, uh, from the table 23 of MK Giridharan Electrical System Design Data Book, uh, from table 23, uh, we uh, we will get uh, the size of distribution board. Okay. So, in that table, we can see uh, 6, the 8 plus uh, more than 11. Okay. Output is more than 11. So, uh, you can select uh, from the table 23. So, that is the type of, uh, sorry, size of distribution board. Then next, we uh, draw the schematic diagram of uh, this installation. So, uh, before we do the schematic diagram, uh, we name, we name all the equipment. For example, uh, in bedroom 1. So, main lamp of bedroom 1, uh, we name as L1. So, main lamp of bedroom 2, we name as L2. Like, uh, we have total uh, 7 number of lamp, main lamp. So, we numbered L1 to L7. We have WB. Uh, the total number of uh, WB uh, is uh, 18. So, we numbered uh, WB1 to WB18. Then, ceiling fan, ceiling fan 1 to CF6. Then, 6 ampere socket, we have 18 number. So, we named uh, 6 ampere 1 to 6 ampere 18. Then 16 ampere, we have a 10 number. So 16 ampere 1 to E number, it uh, 16 ampere 1 to 16 ampere 10. Then exhaust one, we have 4 number. So EF1 to EF4. So that is the naming of each and every loads installed in our building. Okay. And uh, this is the arrangement uh, that I made uh, for, in, for, for schematic, drawing the schematic diagram of given uh, building. So, we have already calculated, we have 6 number of sub-circuits, SC1, sub-circuit 1 to sub-circuit 6, 
and we have five number of powerful bit. Okay, one, two, three, up to five. And here in uh, in uh, in sub circuit one, actually I connect bedroom one plus toilet plus fit out. Okay, bedroom one plus toilet plus fit out. So the total uh, sub circuit point in bedroom one is six. Then total uh, sub circuit point in toilet is three, and total uh, sub circuit point is uh, in fit out is one. So total ten. So the one more thing uh, in one sub circuit, the maximum allowable point in one sub circuit is ten. Okay, so we satisfied this condition, and also you arrange the six sub circuit. Okay, so for uh, sub circuit two, I connect dining room one plus kitchen. Sub circuit three, work area plus store plus carports plus living room one. Then sub circuit four, bedroom two plus toilet two. Sub circuit five, bedroom three plus toilet three, and sub circuit six, living room two. And uh, uh, this number five, nine, nine, ten, ten, ten. These are the number. Uh, which uh, connected to each sub circuit and coming to the power circuit point we have uh, five for 10 number of power circuit so each power circuit uh, which we connect is two number of 16 ampere socket so first sub power circuit we connect uh, first 16 ampere socket and 16 second 16 ampere socket similarly the last sub circuit that is the fifth sub circuit we connect 16 ampere nine socket and 10th socket okay then we move to the uh, schematic diagram of uh, our case so this is the schematic diagram so we start from uh, the supply this is the supply from utility side and uh, type of supply is three phase so you write uh, so you draw three cross bars in the line diagram that indicates three phase supply and you put a cut out fuse okay cut out fuse and rating of cut out fuse uh, around uh, 15 or uh, 15 ampere or uh, 100 ampere and then energy meter then the main fuse unit that is 50 or 100 ampere then how you how you choose the uh, fuse rating means we design the fuse rating uh, based on the current rating okay so how you calculate the current rating the current rating equal to total connected load divided by voltage so total connected load is equal to 12900 so current rating equal to 12900 divided by uh, 240 volt okay so you get say current value then according that current value you you design the fuse rating okay then this is the main switchboard uh, then this is the db this horizontal line uh, so this line this line indicates the uh, db and from this db we tap uh, six number of sub circuit and uh, uh, five number of uh, power circuits okay so in first sub circuit this is the first sub circuit Okay, in sub circuit we connect uh, one bedroom and a toilet plus fit out uh, that connects in sub circuit one so this is the sub circuit one and uh, uh, the fuse rating of uh, all sub circuit you assume that six ampere so you write a six ampere and also the uh, switch rating okay, switch rating of uh, each sub circuit you assume six ampere so write six ampere and you use uh, aluminium conductor for sub circuit that is 1.40 mm aluminium conductor so every uh, sub circuit uh, design you use this uh, 1.4 mm aluminium conductor okay and you connect uh, all the loads associated with the sub circuits okay you connect all the loads associated with the sub, sub circuits similarly uh, you connect all the sub circuit sub circuit 1 2 3 4 5 6 and here Sub circuit 1 which connects bedroom plus toilet plus fit out. Sub circuit 2 dining room plus kitchen. Sub circuit 3 veranda store plus carports etc. And last one is sub circuit 6 is living room. Then similarly uh, we connect a power plug. So we have 10 number of power plug. And in power plug case the fuse rating of power plug is assumed 16 ampere. Fuse rating of all power plug you assume 16 ampere. Okay 16 ampere and fuse, uh, switch rating also you assume 16 ampere. Okay. And the conductor used for uh, the power circuit uh, that is 1.80 or 2.50 mm aluminium conductor. 1.8 or 2.50 mm aluminium conductor. Okay, thank you. That's all.